here. Oh, so we're going to go into the tool. Oh, your presentation is the. Oh, okay. So let me go into the. Okay, so these are the tools. But I just wanted to say one thing before I get into the tools. Um, it, doing it, it actually helped us a lot. We didn't even realize what we were doing, so we didn't actually go and promote it. We just we just did it. So that was that was how how that went. Back yeah. To you. Um, so, but before we go on to some of the advice, we had quite a number of questions, and I think people are just exploding with curiosity about this. Um, so, um, gosh, uh, one of the things is, um, how were you able to incorporate all the different tools into one, like, integrated piece of multimedia? I, well, in the... This is kind of like your same um, pipeline that you do for your business. Well, for us in, in design, this is our pipeline. So we decided on what tools we were going to use up at the beginning, right? So then after we know this is how we're going to do it. Once we realize what, where the problems are, which is the, 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 the voice work, right? Being able to get the highs and the lows, we then have to decide, hey, okay, listen, let's build a plugin. So we built a plugin to get capture that the vo the voice intonations that we're looking for. So that's how we decided on how to what what we were going to do and where we're going to do it. And like I said earlier, is that uh, find find that that place of where you're going to actually going to use the AI first, opposed to saying I'm going to do it across everything. We just decided to do the the voice and the tap the the copy and the talent. That was our first approach. So we took, we bit off a small piece in our journey. And how long did it take um, the first time? And would you say it saved you time or allowed you to do things maybe you couldn't have otherwise done? Uh, and then how long do you think it'll take the second and third time you do it? The, 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 fir the first time took us two days because we had to write the plugin, right? So that was, th that was two days. But after we wrote the plugin, it was like, I would say an hour. Yeah, an, an hour each time. And now it's even faster because now we can do different variations of copy. So, you know, when we do the A-B testing, so now we can actually do A-B testing with ChatGPT because now we're able to do different variations on the copy, uh, put, it through, put it through the processor, do the edit on it because we're, all we're doing is just replacing the copy, test and then have to go into Facebook and test the A-B. So I would say that it, it's actually cut down a lot of time. So we're, I would say each little clip is cut, is giving us like about 15, 15 to 20 minutes. So it's a lot of effort to figure it out. The first time you're doing some custom coding, building mm -hmm. an API, and then now you have a tool built uh, yes. that's custom, custom uh, built and ready to do it at scale. And uh, you probably wouldn't have um, built the tool if you didn't think you were gonna use it a bunch. Exactly. And this is this is good for us because now we're also thinking about having having um, like little short segments that allows us to kind of populate uh, populate her social media. So this is all part of a process to help her with with her market. With her yeah. marketing. And, and, you know, Monica Campana writes, so common mortals cannot create that question mark. Uh, yes. The, the, yes. Common mortals can because just using the voice. AP, the voice API stuff, which is becoming much better, you'll be able to, to do, do your voice, do the highs and the lows, and then after push it out and have another um, AI product um, speak the information for you. Yeah. So there are tools to do it. I, I got to say, uh, first of all, Monica, I love that question. And well, well first of all, we're all common mortals. <laughs> Even Anthony is a Jedi, but he's also a mortal. But what I actually think, and, and this was really one of the main points from last week with Sri Ram, is these tools are cheap. They're getting cheaper and easier to use. And the main thing stopping us is our knowledge and our imagination. And the fact that you guys are here right now is increasing your knowledge and sparking your imagination. And I can tell you that what AI is going to do for those of us who choose to learn it is allow us to do things that we never thought possible. And 
this isn't just an AI thing. I mean, think about Canva. For those of you who use Canva, I, I'm not uh, an AI, you know, a design Jedi. I'm not a Berkeley educated designer. I don't work for Apple, but I've designed some decent flyers in my day using Canva. And a lot of these tools kind of democratize the tool, uh, the ability to do decent, if, if not even pretty good work uh, without that training. It's that le next level of training that an Anthony has that's that's the difference between decent and you know deep fake Drake. Can can I just add that whole Canva stuff that that's happening? Um, me and Mike did did that in 1997. We had we were part of a company called Design Intelligence that allowed you to create um, create create uh, uh, newsletters and all this kind of stuff when we were working on it so it, it's can this is just i guess a two dot two dot oh if you want to call it from what we built back in 1997 uh, absolutely so I, I would love for you to to share your screens yeah. your tips on how yeah. people like monica can, can do this and while you're doing that i'll just remind you guys about photoshop so when mm -hmm. photoshop was invented everybody freaked out about deep fakes, about the way you can use Photoshop to manipulate reality. Um, and uh, the, the truth of the matter is that um, we've like I integrated those tools into our day-to-day -day life. A lot of what AI is, is, is basically Photoshop on steroids. All right, so over to you. Yeah. And so we're now gonna talk about basically the, the tips and tools, uh, the approach uh, and some of the software that people can use to get get this going in their own businesses. Right. And and let me just preface this by saying, all these tools, you're going to have to pay some type of fee for. There's some free, but as you keep using it, there's some, some cost. Um, for example, with the Microsoft, uh, and this, the focus that I have here is more for using it for, for accessibility. Right of how how you can actually how you can actually use it. So use it using um, the 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 vision one for Microsoft. It can actually scan the picture and give you all the elements that are in the picture. Then after you can use you can use that information to write up write up what it is, uh, what's the, the what the image is. But it gives you a very good um, um, detail of what what's what's in it what's in the image. Uh, Google Google Cloud. I have I haven't used their API. But I think we might we we I might do it shortly, and then after the Amazon recognition, um, I have I haven't used. But these are like the three the three top ones for today for image recognition. Now, you all might have seen image recognition being used for faces and all that kind of thing. Yes, that's what what a lot of it's used for. But some of it's used for figuring out objects and what and whatnot. So those are like the, the top three. There's many, many more. And also something that Jeff said also earlier, he said that you there are tools that do one specific thing that are that is really good right now. So there are that there are those types of tools right now in the image recognition part. I haven't really um, explored them to to see right now, but I will. And and once I do find something, I'll share I'll share it with that for you guys. Uh, same here with the captions. There's a lot of tools out there right now doing captioning, captioning, and the one that's right there in your hand right now on your on your iPhone is um, is uh, Instagram. When you upload a video to Instagram, you can hit a, a little tag that says caption. It analyzes your your audio for you, and then after it puts the captions on the screen. So this is another way of of doing it to make your content accessible for everyone. And I think you you've seen it all on on uh, YouTube and all this kind of stuff. They have all the captions popping up in different sizes on the screen. So if it, this these are right there in your hand that you can use, but these are other tools that can actually do it for you. Um, next, then uh, my my favorite. <laughs> I love Grammarly. I I use it all the time. I've been using it for quite a while right now. Um, but this is another way of. Um, you use it using these AI tools that help you put together you know prop, proper context and different styles for whatnot. Um, the IBM Watson, I have I haven't touched them, but they 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 came up really high in the list. Um, and also Hootsuite. I was with Hootsuite uh, before, 
Um, and then now they got the insights, so I'm moving. I'm looking to move back to them to start using using their tools. But uh, it, it's it's really good. Uh, and oh gosh, now like I, I I mentioned it earlier, this is ex this becomes the expensive part because using these tools it actually increases the 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 experience for the users on the on the user side and there's a little bit of a, a heavy lear learning curve for these and I, I i think i think nicole could talk more to to these things right nicole <laughs> about these, 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 these yeah so these are yeah. a, a, a much heavier lift uh, but these these are for when you this is i would think this is more for corporations that uh, want to implement uh, more personalization of content as you go for as you go forward i only look at these because of the companies that i work i work with that um, I have access to it to see. So that's the, the only reason that uh, I get to play with it. Otherwise, I will not be paying that bill. <laughs> Just to be honest with you, I will be paying that bill. And then last but not least, that one more thing that, uh, that uh, my, 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 one of my guys I like, Steve Jobs, always said is that uh, they always want to share something with you. And what you see on the screen right now is the, the new, um, uh, application for Mio, right, that we're going to be doing that's incorporating the playbill within the application. So now the, uh, a person with disability is going to be able to download the app, right, for that particular show that you be in, and then after engage with the content. So now we're, we're actually building a full-blown app for, for them. And uh, as I say here, we're going to be beta, doing a beta in uh, Vancouver for this because the Vancouver show is um is is disability accessible uh, disability um, accessibility for the disabled it, they, they focus a lot on that over in canada so we're going to be going forward uh, there to test it out so it's going to be quite exciting to see how how it goes because it's going to be a, a test for like over two weeks to see how it how it goes and we're going to be doing testing here in los angeles I keep going here. I'm in San Diego right now. <laughs> We're going to be doing testing in Los Angeles uh, with this coming up, and uh, that that that's all. That's all, folks. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, Anthony, yeah, thank you so much. We'll be sure to paste uh, your, your contact information in the chat uh, so that everybody can stay in touch and and celebrate yeah. your amazingness. <laughs>